Freedom Pop and Ring Plus are both carriers offering completely free cell service, but which is better? Freedom Pop uses the AT&T network to provide coverage, but unfortunately, data speeds are capped at 3G. Technically, it's fast enough for web browsing and social media, but I wouldn't recommend it with a 200 megabyte data limit. Freedom Pop limits your talk and text too. You get 200 minutes and 500 texts, and the only way to use these free minutes and texts is through Freedom Pop's mobile application. The app is terrible. Poor UI, annoying notification icons, and no support for quick reply on the iPhone make for a frustrating experience. Its version history on the App Store indicates it is receiving constant updates though, so it may improve over time. Until then, I suggest you use Google Voice and Hangouts. In fact, I think Google Voice and Hangouts are the only things making Freedom Pop worth considering. Coverage is strong on the AT&T network, international coverage is supported if you ever travel abroad, and 200 megabytes of data is just enough to essentially give you unlimited talk and text with Google Voice and Hangouts. If you want free, unlimited talk and text with excellent coverage, Freedom Pop is the way to go. Just remember to downgrade your plan first, otherwise you'll be stuck paying for the $28 worth of paid services you are automatically signed up for. Ring Plus has a slightly different approach to the free cell service game. They offer a variety of plans with plenty more talk, text, and data than Freedom Pop. Right now you can get 1000 minutes, 1000 texts, and 1 gigabyte of unthrottled LTE data for absolutely free. Ring Plus is able to do this by having an initial top-up fee upon sign-up for the plan, which you use to pay for overage charges, and by having advertisements play whenever you make a phone call. The futuristic looking straddling bus is now in reality in China. Press back now for more details. And while I got your attention, as you can see, the ads immediately stop when the other person picks up, and truth be told, they aren't that bad. Ring Plus also offers a significant amount of advanced features through their online account. Voicemail transcriptions, an in-call translator, and the ability to record conversations are all included in Ring Plus's free plans. iMessage also works flawlessly because Ring Plus gives you a real phone number. Freedom Pop's approach of using an app for talk and text means the SIM card actually has no phone number at all so iMessage doesn't work on the iPhone. At the end of the day, Ring Plus provides legitimate cell service with a significant amount of talk, text, and data. They are open about how ad revenue is used to compensate for free cell service, and this ad revenue allows them to offer uncompromised plans with advanced in-call features and unthrottled LTE data. Once you buy a $15 SIM card and pay the initial $27 top-up fee, you're all set for free cell service for the rest of your life. If sprint coverage is good in your area and you can deal with ads, Ring Plus is definitely worth considering. Freedom Pop's stronger coverage on the AT&T network and overseas make it ideal for travelers and those looking for unlimited talk and text. Again, pairing Freedom Pop with Google Voice and Hangouts allows you to avoid Freedom Pop's poorly designed application and bypass the limits placed on talk and text. $10 is all you need to order Freedom Pop's global GSM SIM card, and there are no initial top-up fees to worry about. So there you have it, the choice is yours. You can either score unlimited talk and text with excellent coverage on Freedom Pop, or legitimate cell service with unthrottled LTE data from Ring Plus. Consider checking out my Freedom Pop and Ring Plus review videos for more information on either carrier. You can click the little i button in the top right hand corner, or I'll leave links to both review videos in this video description. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.